to do because it is Chinese uh, Golden Week. Um, and, oh gosh, I have something on my, on my shirt. And uh, the bookings are kind of low. Uh, I wanted to show you a video of like how I teach and how I grab everything and teach. So I set it up in between um, a class that I wasn't booked. So let's go over just a couple of things. First of all, I will have the screen up because VIP does not want anybody to kind of see their lessons and obviously the student's name and their faces. Um, I will not be um, I will not be posting my camera or my you know my my lesson. I'm also going to mute it because I want to make sure that uh, the student's anonymity is um, is protected. And honestly, I. <laughs> I have no idea. This class could go horribly wrong and there could be screaming because it's a level one. And so, you know, maybe it's not gonna go so well, but I will do uh, like a talk over afterwards and kind of like talk about what I was doing so that you can see. Um, the important thing is that I have all of my stuff ready to go. And um, usually I can just pick things and then go. So I hope that you like it. We're going to speed it up really fast so that, um, you know, it's going to look like I'm going to do, 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 but I will talk through it as um, I talk about the lesson. Let me talk just a little bit about um, when you have low, bo uh, low bookings. Um, again, some companies you're never going to have a problem because they book you and they're consistently booked. Um, I know that the other company that I worked for, uh, well, that I'm still contracted for, uh, this week they had the whole week off. They had no choice. So um, that can be kind of frightening too. Even though it's a company that books you, they tell you when you're going to take vacation and whether or not you're going to get paid or anything like that. So it's always good to diversify with two companies or one ESL and then something completely different. Just a thought. The second thing is that if you work at a company that um, book, that you book or that the parents book you, the best thing to do is just to reach out. Last night, I noticed that I had two bookings, right? And I'm not getting any trials because the employees of the company are on Golden Week. They're on vacation. So um, I messaged, we have the opportunity to give cards. I am on WeChat with a couple of my students that I have been teaching for years. And so I was able to WeChat and just put a blanket statement that I have openings uh, tomorrow. Um, the classes are open if you'd like to schedule. And then I also um, put a little uh, card in some of the students that I had just seen this week and said, you know, I saw you this week. I really uh, enjoyed our lesson and I would love to see you again today. I have slots open. And um, what turned out to be when I went to bed, only two classes uh, turned out to be, let me see, let me see, let me see, were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven classes. So I made myself an extra around 60, $65. Um, just by like blasting something on my WeChat and also I think I messaged and sent cards to five, five students. And I only sent cards to five students that I had seen this week because I figured if they're going to take class during the holiday that maybe they want to take a second class during the holiday. Um, so that's what I do uh, when you are in business for yourself and the sales are not coming in. You need to go out and get them however you can. So I'm gonna talk about a couple of different ways in another video, how you can actually brand yourself and um, encourage people to come back to you um, and to your classroom. So let's get started. I am going to get prepped and put everything on um, and then hopefully the class will start and it will be okay, I hope. Let's get started. Check out the greasy hair must apply lipstick must so here I am just getting feedback ready and um, all set up for my class to start I use feedback panda and um, I have my own smart sentences uh, which make it very quick and easy for me to 
make very personal feedback. So I do that in between my classes. Here we go. Um, I'm just asking him how he's doing at this point. I am happy. Very good. Here I'm just showing him and having him repeat the title of the lesson and the characters' names. Here I'm asking him how old he is. Sometimes he has difficulty, so I show him a couple of numbers. We sing the beginning song and then clap along. Clap. One star. Yes. So this lesson has an interactive reward, so I use that. It also is asking the student to stand up and sit down or raise his hands and, and uh, lower his hands. Um, and then it asks them a couple of questions about the character, and they're supposed to give a yes or no answer. I see a cow. Moo. Moo. Milk. Milk. Yes. All right. You got two stars. One. Two. So here I am introducing the vocab words of drink, milk, and cup. He's very advanced. I see a cup. Perfect. I see milk. Drink. Two cups, mm -hmm. three cups, yes, four cups, yes, five cups, yes, six cups, yes, seven cups, oh, eight cups. At this point in the lesson is where I am asking him to circle uh, so that I can assess his knowledge of the vocabulary words. Um, he knows how to circle, but sometimes it takes him a little bit more focus to do that. Now we're working on the verb come in, and that could be a difficult concept. Because it's level one, we have three songs in our lesson, so we are in the middle of the second song. I'm to get a little bored, so you notice that I bring out the teddy bears and the big expressions and the uh, big baby face. It helps him um, keep focused. Yes, mouse, mouse, very good. So here we are just reviewing what we learned. Milk, milk. Yes, milk. Yes, excellent. 
here the point of the uh, lesson we are talking about big and small. So big objects, small objects. So I bring out the babies and uh, the stars. Drink, drink, drink. Drink, drink, drink. Drink, drink, drink. Cup, cup. So we go through uh, our final song and our final star, and then I say goodbye, but I make sure that I say goodbye to mom too. Very good, very good. All right, I will see you next time. Yeah. Thank you, mom. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, <laughs> let me get, let me get that out. <sighs> so, that was a level one student, and um, he knows me um, a little bit. Let me just move this up a little bit. He knows me a little bit. Uh, the things that we were working on today were uh, repeats, so he understood what I was asking him, but he still has problems with um, how old are you and how are you? So one of the key things that I do that I think most teachers will think it's overwhelming, but really it's not. It actually tells you how much uh, vocabulary the student already knows is I will say, how are you? And then before they can answer, right? I say, are you happy? Are you sad? <laughs> Are you mad? No. How are you? Excellent. Sometimes they don't know. Maybe they know fine, maybe, but they're not really sure. Fine and five in level one is really close, so that can be confusing. But you can't imagine how many students know that this means angry. And they will say, angry. And I'm like, oh, I'm using the word mad. You know, but they know the word angry. And then this one, they know the word crying, but I want them to use sad. So they know what they mean. And so that helps them. If they go back to parroting, if you say, how are you? And they say, how are you? I say, I am happy and really over exact and then I say how are you and then I will start I am happy I am sad I am mad I am happy and then they will get it from there so that's just one of the things that I have to do with the student because he just even though he's in well, he's only in the third unit. So, I mean, he's he's like five years old and in the third unit. Give him a freaking break. I mean, my God. Do I know all of my numbers to 10? Um, how to greet someone? How to tell them how I'm feeling? And my name in Chinese? No. So, <laughs> I am going to give him the benefit of the doubt. hope that maybe um, you've picked up something. And also how you see that I have put things back or I cover myself up while I'm looking for something. Um, I do a lot of that. Um, it's important for me to have everything in exactly the same place every day, especially since I come running up here like blurry eye. And, oh no, today I have the makeup in the bathroom because I literally was on the bathroom like putting my eyebrows on and I always have two types of lipstick here. So um, I always have that so that I can reapply every other lesson. But this is a short video on how I end my day, how I set my day up for success for the next day. Ready for tomorrow. Thanks guys for watching. Leave in the comments anything that you think
helped you or maybe that you were like, huh, I do it this way. Maybe I can learn some new things too and other teachers can learn some new things and then we can kind of all share these ideas together. I will talk with you soon.